Welcome back to your build series. This is episode number 107. And so we're going to go ahead and do a couple missions here. Uh, we're going to use my helicopter. This hasn't got too much play. Built this back in the career, earlier in the career build series. And it's a great helicopter. Just I haven't been really motivated to use it. And so got a couple of missions here. And so if we look here, we have a fire at TT, which we're going to need a helicopter to be able to get in there. And then we have a transpo. So here we have transport for power plant engineers uh, to go over here to the island called airport and so we're going to go ahead and do that uh, we're starting to get close to the point where we have enough money to start launching triton so that's important so last episode went and took some fuel from fj via the albatross up to the military island and that's where we presently are when i sold the fuel i sold all the jet fuel so we're out of jet fuel so I uh, was going to use the Night Owl, but the Night Owl burns jet fuel, so we can't take it off out of here. And so this burns diesel, and we shall take this then. So let's go ahead and take this helicopter. It's pretty much all set to go here. It needs some finishing, but it uh, runs fine. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and turn the beacon on. I think station keeping even works. It needs to be tuned, but it does work, so that is good. All right, and we'll start taxiing out here. We'll just, uh, we'll hover taxi. It's called hover taxi when you actually hover above the ground to taxi. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and we will take off here. I'm just going to press the autopilot. That will turn on the auto hover button there. And we'll set our first waypoint. So we do have an emergency here, so we're going to head there first. And we'll enter that on the keypad. All right. Uh, let's see. Altitude hold. Let's go up to 750. And heading hall we won't worry about. Altitude, let's go. It'd be heading uh, bearing, and we're good to go, I think. So let's start pushing forward the props. So this is inspired by a Airbus helicopter. It's very, very fast. I don't know what the, what the real one goes, but this one does like 275 knots. This is one of my faster vehicles, and it's just, it's just super simple, and it works, man. It's, it has a diesel engine in there. Not even that big of a diesel, and it works really well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take this helicopter out. So let's check our altitude. We should be good. As you can see, we're coming to the left of that mountain. So we're going to be there in uh, one minute. So it's uh, six nautical miles, unless that's wrong. Yeah, we're not doing six miles a minute, so probably reasonably close. Let's go ahead and bring up the binoculars. This thing is so fast. So what is that island there? Can't tell what that island is. Let's go ahead and look at the map. So that would be, that's Lighthouse Island. So Lighthouse is, no, that's TT. That's TT right there. So this Lighthouse and that is TT. So that's right where we're going. So pretty quick. Now, once you get up into like these higher speeds here, like almost 300 knots, as you can see, we're cooking, man. Uh, and we'll be there really quickly. So it has the fire up at the control tower. So I'll start getting ready to bring this uh, thrust back and the props. It's going to go down to 250. And we should be getting the mission soon here. We'll start backing off on the thrust here on the propellers. All right, and there is, uh, I don't see the fire yet, but we should see it in a minute here. All right, so autopilot's coming off. The I'm going to shut the modes off. Let's shut the modes off, and we'll leave the AP uh, just for the auto hover, and I'll bring that thrust all the way back. It is. Okay, good. Now yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll land. So watch for our helipad here. Should be right there. Beautiful. Put it right down on the helipad, and yeah, we'll be good to go. There we go. All right, good, good. So let's just put a little bit of uh, down collective in there. I'm just going to shut the engine off so that we don't uh, accidentally run into any issues where the 
aircraft wants to lift off as it was just trying to do there. I don't know if I have parking brakes on this. Let me see. I don't see any parking brakes, so keep that in mind. Make sure this doesn't slide off into the drink. And I need to grab the... That's obscured. I forgot about that. Jump in here really quick. I need to open the rear door here. So let's do this. And I'll grab the fire X. have a hose on me. We can dump really quickly. Grab this fire X, and let's go hit it. All right, so we have to fire up at the top. And I didn't see if there were people to be rescued, but it wouldn't surprise me. Let's see. No, still does not showing it. We'll see when we get up there if there's uh, people that need to be rescued or not. Hopefully that doesn't keep sliding away like it was. Now, there's a fire. A little fire in Transpo. Bingo. That was a quick and easy one. So they announced that August 25th, they are going to be doing a live stream and announcing the new DLC. That's going to be at, uh, my understanding, 1600 Zulu. So uh, 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, I believe. That's, uh, they said London time. I believe that's GMT. So let's see if we can get, what's that? I can't see the mission here, so it's not showing me the mission. We'll go check and see if, if people want to follow us. That means that they're part of the mission. If they don't want to follow us, they're not. So let's see. You following? Yep, so she's following. She's part of the mission. You following? He's following. He's part of the mission. Okay, let's stop you. Let's... Uh, who still following me there? Air traffic controller. How about you? You coming? Probably she's hurt, so... I Okay, they're coming up. I, I kind of I kind of want to leave management here. I don't really deal with management. Do not deal with management. So uh, why don't you stay there, please, management? Maybe we'll leave him here to uh, <laughs> to his own devices. Let's see. You, 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 you. Hopefully that's it. I can't get the mission to show me how many. Hopefully, Egypts don't jump off the uh, jump off the tower here. We'll take our time. Let's let's be careful with that jump in there. Act the fool, please do not. So there are mannequins, but their path is reasonable. Most of the time. Famous last words. Now that I've said it, watch them all get hung up and be obnoxious. I'll come and get more if I if if I lose some behind leave some behind. I don't know why that's still running. Uh, so that's something I have to look at. The propellers are off, so let's get all these peeps in there. These propellers, the main thing is, I don't want to walk into them. So. Let's see, you. So this has an enormous capacity. You will start to get missions late game that have like 14 rescues. I've had those before. This has, now let's count them out. Uh, let's put that in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve seats in here. So, I have had 14s. Let's ch double check, see if I can't get this mission. I can't see. Okay, this property is only $10,000. Let's buy this. Ten, ten grand is nothing. I'll, let's own the island here. So, ten grand is super cheap. So, we'll buy TT. All right. So, I need to work on this build a little bit. All right, we're going to take these people. Let's see. We could... Uh, let's go ahead and do this this transpo mission next. Because I, I have enough health kits in here that I can take care of them. So let's go altitude hold 250. Altitude hold will go up. I'm just going to get rid of the trim. I did a bunch of down trim there. All right, we'll do uh, heading bearing. That will turn us to where we're going, which is... Uh, that's not it. That's the refinery island. And we'll start going forward here. But well, you see, this thing moves like stink, so it's um, really nice and convenient way of uh, transportation here. All right, so we'll be there uh, very soon. It's eight miles. Really, eight miles? Really that far? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, this was a shorter distance than that, so I thought they were about equidistant, but this is a, a little bit of shorter distance, so. 
It will not take us long. We're going again. We're doing like 275 knots, so we're moving fast. I think we can see at 12 o'clock. You can see the the uh, cooling tower for the uh, nuclear power plant. So it's a nice quick flight over there. This has no cooling. I have to be careful here. What's the temp? Okay, engine temp is really high. I'm just gonna, this is yet to be completely tested. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off. Uh, engine overheating, I shut off. So that's just to prevent us from catching on fire. I, I need to work on this. So normally at uh, 120, it would overheat. But this, you know, this needs to be finished. It has some issues, so hopefully we can get this wrapped up. That's airport, that island over to the right. Next, you know, in the not Stormworks 2, their next game. Up. Okay, it's just gonna go black smoke uh, with engine overheating off. In the in the next game, it'd really be nice to see the ability to move islands and stuff. Where you know, I don't even know what the game's gonna be like, but to move things where we want them, have a map editor, that would be really nice because everything, like you see, how tight these are together. I would like to really spread them out. You know, I've got a craft that goes 273 knots. I don't get to really use it because it's everything's so tight together. We're slowing right down here. Alright, and we'll take heading bearing off and I'll go ahead and land us. We'll check out we'll check all their health as well. Give them some packs. Up oh, there's a crate right there, and there is a fox. Crate and a fox, crate and a fox. The fox means very little to me. The crate is important. So definitely need to work on this some, um, you know. Sometimes I get, you know, kind of not really all that interested in working on the builds. You know, I still prefer Night Owl to this. This is a great vehicle, it really is. It's fast. It's one of my fastest vehicles, and it just came together really quickly. It's just not finished, so it kind of gives me a little in, little bit of uh, motivation to finish this that I'm actually doing some missions with it, so. All right. I do not have parking brake on this. Trying not to, there we go, I'm trying not to hit anything here. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to go straight down here. Come on, give me down collect. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That would be why. I'm doing pitch instead of uh, collective. So that would be why. I was having problems. Okay. So let's try to get this to stop here. I'm trying not to roll all over the place. What the hell is this doing? Okay. I'm just trying to get this thing to behave itself and not move all over town here so I can get these people in and go get that crate. So, so the fuel valve is not shutting off is part of the problem. Let me make sure I don't have any settings. Nope, I've been fuels off, so I don't know what it's doing. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and try to get these people in. Oh my god, why won't this thing stay on the ground? There we go. Alright. Hello, people. So, power plant engineer. So, it appears they're labeled. I put all these people on this side, so we'll stick all the transpo people on this side. There we go. It's actually shutting down this time. So, I think I shut the master power off before I uh, killed the fuel, and it kept the fuel on last time. So, y you know, one thing I'd like to see the devs do is put in a one block that allows us to put in a brake value and that will allow us to make brakes. If you don't know how people do rotor brakes now, what they do is they put a wheel in there and then they use the brakes on the wheel. And the issue with that is that it's very large and so it requires a lot of space. So you can do it on large helicopters, small helicopters, it's tough. I could fit it in this, but again, it's kind of a waste of space. Be really nice if we get a one block item. So there's six grand, that's not bad. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll actually dump these people off first, and then uh, because the island is super close, and then we will go ahead and bring the people to the hospital. I'll just check, see where everybody's health's at. I just don't want somebody going down on and having to uh, use the defib on them. So, All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and start back up. Do nav and strobes. Let's see where we're going. We're going right here. I'm just going to hand fly it over there. Oh, 
What's over there? I just saw something on that island. Is that a crate on that island? Let's go look. Let's look. No, it's just some rocks. Okay. Just rocks on that island. I thought it might have been a crate. What is that? Oh, that's windmill. Alright, and we'll head right over here to this island. So this is the airport, and that is creative base, I think it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Coast Guard base, I can't remember. So we'll go dump these people off, and then we'll go to the hospital. So not, not too bad for the missions, you know. Kind of nice to string these missions together. We got another one, a blue van. Where, the, where was that one? Uh, I don't even see it. Blue boat. Okay, it's not a blue van. It's out in the, out, out in the ocean. And so bring him up uh, here by the tower. and Or the... Um, yeah, I think there's a tower here. And we'll dump them off. Be nice to see some of these islands more useful and fleshed out a little bit. That would be kind of cool. Like, there's not much reason to come down here. You know, it'd be nice to see kind of an innate transport system, both cargo and pasture. I really like them to do more logistics. You know, I think logistics and engineering go very much hand in hand, and that's something that, you know, I think some of the people who just want them to constantly just do bug updates and stuff is, you know, you need new content to keep people coming back, and you need a reason for people to engineer things. You need a reason for people to, you know, move on from a build they've already done to a new build. And part of that can be, you know, you've engineered a problem and you need to come up with a solution. Hopefully that will shut down eventually. What the hell, man? I don't know why that's not behaving itself. Okay. I don't know why this isn't behaving itself. This is kind of a pain. There we go. So I need to I need to look at this a little bit and see what's up with it. Where are they going here? So they are going right in the facility here, so. There we go. So they have to go right in here. That's fine. I, I kinda like that. You know the containers, they the containers will deliver pretty far out. That's not one of the ones I'm bringing, I'm bringing these people. This is a little bit more, you know, we have to get these people right where they need to go, which I like that kind of a little bit more accurate. We can't just bring them and dump them. We have to kind of, oh, come on, man, sit, sit in your seat. Excuse me? Sit in your seat there, ding dong. And you need one, you need one. You guys are good. Okay. All right, let's go and get you guys inside. I don't mind the rotors going. The propellers are good, really easy to walk into, so as long as those are off. There we go. So these people are all put away. Zing, zing, zing. See you later. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stay where you're at. Thank you. All right, good. So let's go ahead and we'll get out of here. So I need to see how this system's set up. Why this isn't shutting off. All right, and we need to go to a hospital. So let's see. We'll go uh, right here to uh, Aljan Hospital. And as you can see, I definitely need to work on the cooling. There's, there's literally no cooling in this at all. So that's kind of my issue is there's just literally no cooling in this at all. So it, uh, you know, I need to I need to put some cooling in here or else it's going to overheat. So, you know, this is kind of a good testing phase on this. Test it, actually put it in the real conditions. We're actually going to use it in game and see where we get. So. All right, so we have a little bit of a uh, flight here, so I will see you guys when we get there.
so start bringing the props back here quickly. And it's right underneath us here. So very fast, this craft makes it easy to get places. I'm not a super speed demon. You know, I don't really care about how fast things take some time. Like, for example, you know, I could, I could do a mission and have it be slow and deliberate and, you know, get a little bit more engaged in that mission. These, like, you see how quickly I'm knocking off missions? So in order to kind of keep my time filled, I have to just do more missions. So it really doesn't matter to me the speed, you know? Because I, I can all, you know, it was very quick last time to be able to move huge quantities of jet fuel in the Albatross and make a lot of money really fast, really easily. So it's, um, you know, now that we have kind of that avenue with oil drilling that I don't really need to bang these missions off, you know, super fast. You know, again, for me, it's most important what's the most fun per hour. And, you know, so some of these missions, doing them in the craft that you want to is often the key to having a good time doing it. So, all right, let's go. All right, let's hopefully that gets every, gets the engine down, spun down and we cannot get killed by this uh, rotor or propellers here. The rotor's fine. The rotor's high enough. I don't have to worry about it. It's the propellers that I'm worried about. I walked into a mini propeller in this game, so try not to, especially with all the people. I don't want them walking into anything. But I'm definitely going to want to put a rotor brake on this, so there's definitely some work to be done on this, so... You know, you, you learn a lot what your build needs by putting it through a career game, seeing what you're actually going to be doing, and that really helps to figure it all out, you know. And then where is she? She is right there. We'll give her the last little bit of health there to boost the money a little bit. But a couple good missions there. You know, how many do we have here? I have one on me and three. So we have four. So we delivered, you know, the four to the the uh, Transpo mission, and we did another four here for the rescue. Excuse me, sir. So nice. So good little mission there. I think that let's see if the mission closed. If, if it didn't, we know that we didn't get everybody. So that closed. So this mission closed. So that's good. So that's good. Knocked off a couple missions. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hi. Hi. You and you just stay here and behave yourselves, please. Go in there. Thank you, sir. You. Go on in. Go on in. There you go. Get some medical. Thank you. Yeah, so, you know, I enjoyed those missions. Those are fun. This, as you can see, this thing needs some work. It's not in a finished state, and the best way to do that is take it in a career game and see what it needs. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.